Astronomers have just found cosmic megastructures so large that they shouldn't exist. They are called the Big Ring and the Giant Arc, and they are made up of thousands of galaxies that are billions of light years away from us. How big are they? Well, let me show you. This is our galaxy, the Milky Way. It's pretty big, right? Well, not compared to these structures. The Big Ring is about 10,000 times bigger than our galaxy, and the Giant Arc is about 25,000 times bigger. That's insane. How did we find them? What are these mysterious structures? And how did we discover them? That's what we're going to find out in this video. But before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. The Big Ring and the Giant Arc are two enormous cosmic structures that are billions of light years away from Earth. They are made up of thousands of galaxies that are arranged in a ring-shaped and a curved pattern, respectively. But how big are they? Well, let's put it this way. The Big Ring has a diameter of about 1.3 billion light years, which is roughly 10,000 times the size of our galaxy, the Milky Way. The Giant Arc is even bigger stretching for about 3.3 billion light years, which is more than 25,000 times the size of our galaxy. To put that in perspective, if you could travel at the speed of light, which is the fastest thing in the universe, it would take you more than a billion years to cross the Big Ring, and more than 3 billion years to cross the giant arc. That's how massive these structures are. But how did we discover them? Well, it wasn't easy. These structures are so far away that we can't see them directly with our telescopes. Instead, we had to use a clever trick involving some of the brightest objects in the universe, quasars. They are extremely luminous sources of radiation that are powered by supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. They act like giant lamps that illuminate the intervening galaxies that their light passes through on its way to Earth. By looking for signs of absorption by a specific element, magnesium, in the quasar light, the astronomers were able to map the positions and distances of the otherwise invisible galaxies that form the Big Ring and the Giant Arc. This technique is called the Quasar Absorption Line Spectroscopy, and it's one of the most powerful tools we have to explore the distant universe. This discovery is very important and interesting for cosmology. One of the main assumptions of cosmology is that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic on large scales. This means that the universe should look the same in every direction and have no preferred shape or orientation. This assumption is called the cosmological principle, and it's based on the idea that the universe started from a very hot and dense state and then expanded and cooled down uniformly, creating a smooth and uniform distribution of matter and energy. But the Big Ring and the Giant Arc seem to violate this assumption, as they are much larger and more organized than expected. According to the current theories of the universe, such as the standard model of cosmology and the theory of inflation, the largest structures that can form in the universe should be about 400 million light years across. Anything bigger than that would require some special conditions or mechanisms that are not accounted for by the theories. So, how did these structures form? And what do they tell us about the nature of the universe? There are several possible explanations or implications of these structures, such as the existence of dark matter, dark energy, cosmic inflation, or quantum fluctuations in the early universe. Dark matter is a mysterious form of matter that does not interact with light, but only with gravity. Dark energy is a mysterious form of energy that causes the universe to accelerate its expansion. Cosmic inflation is a hypothetical phase of rapid expansion that occurred in the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. Quantum fluctuations are tiny variations in the density and temperature of the primordial plasma that gave rise to the seeds of the structures we see today. All of these phenomena could have played a role in creating the Big Ring and the Giant Arc, or they could be challenged or modified by them. Either way, these structures are a goldmine of information for cosmologists as they could help us test and refine our theories of the universe, or even discover new physics beyond them. Of course, such a groundbreaking discovery is not without its questions or doubts. Some of you might be wondering, 
How do we know that these structures are real and not just a coincidence or an artifact of the data? How reliable and valid are the measurements and the methods used by the astronomers? How significant and robust are the results and the conclusions? These are all valid and important questions, and the astronomers have addressed them in their paper and in their interviews. First of all, the astronomers have verified the validity and reliability of their data by using multiple sources and cross-checking their results. They have used data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which is one of the most comprehensive and accurate surveys of the sky, covering about a third of the celestial sphere and measuring the positions and properties of millions of objects. They have also used data from other surveys, such as the Gaia mission, the Pan-STARRS survey, and the Dark Energy survey, to confirm and refine their measurements. They have also used different methods and models to analyze their data, such as the Bayesian analysis, the maximum likelihood estimation, and the bootstrap resampling to estimate the uncertainties and the probabilities of their findings. Secondly, the astronomers have ruled out other possible interpretations or artifacts of their data, such as the projection effect, the selection bias, or the observational errors. The projection effect is the possibility that the structures are not really in the same plane, but just appear to be so because of the angle of view. The selection bias is the possibility that the structures are not representative of the whole population, but just a result of the choice of the sample. The observational errors are the possible mistakes or inaccuracies in the measurements or the calculations. The astronomers have tested and eliminated all of these possibilities by using different criteria and techniques, such as the angular separation, the redshift distribution, the angular diameter distance, and the statistical significance. They have also compared their results with the predictions of the theoretical models and the simulations, and found that they are consistent and compatible. Thirdly, the astronomers have discussed some of the limitations or uncertainties of their discovery, such as the statistical significance, the selection bias, or the observational errors. The statistical significance is the measure of how likely it is that the results are due to chance or random fluctuations. The selection bias is the possibility that the structures are not representative of the whole population, but just a result of the choice of the sample. The observational errors are the possible mistakes or inaccuracies in the measurements or the calculations. The astronomers have acknowledged and quantified these factors and reported them in their paper and in their interviews. They have also stated that their discovery is not conclusive or definitive, but rather tentative and preliminary and that it needs to be confirmed and refined by further studies and observations. All of these efforts could help us learn more about the Big Ring and the Giant Arc and their implications for cosmology. So, there you have it. The Big Ring and the Giant Arc are two of the largest and most intriguing structures ever discovered in the universe. They are made up of thousands of galaxies that are billions of light years away from us and they challenge our current theories of the universe. They could help us test and refine our understanding of the cosmos, or even reveal new physics beyond it. They are also a testament to the power and the beauty of science, and the curiosity and the creativity of the human mind. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and exciting. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. What do you think of these structures? How do you think they formed? What do you think they mean for cosmology? We'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our next videos. We have more amazing and fascinating topics to share with you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.